Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is a video that I'm doing because I've reached a point in the book where um, I really have to plan the castle um, because I can't ride it until I had a picture of what the castle was going to look like and how I can map it out and um, where the rooms are going to be and things like that because in all honesty I think that if I didn't map it out I could get lost in the castle in the book and not know how to get out of it. So God knows how JK Rowling did it when she did Hogwarts because um, that was like something else obviously. Um, so I had to make it a lot more simplistic and I think I've done it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to share with you a screen capture that I did of some castle research that I did not long ago actually um, where I'm going to show you guys the research what I did it wasn't it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to and the castle isn't doesn't look like how I thought it was going to either I thought it was going to look completely different but I'm happy with the selection for the book um so I hope you guys like it or if there's any feedback you want to give to me about it or anything like that you know please feel free um and uh, I'm going to let you guys see it for yourself. So I'm going to head on over now to the other video. All right. So um, hopefully that this screen recording, which is the first time I've done it, um, is going to work. And I can show you guys uh, me researching the kind of castle that I need for the book. Um, I've kind of got an idea, but I'm not. 100% sure because it's all right picturing it from the outside but it's trying to work it out from the inside which then once I've hopefully got a kind of idea I can work out some sort of map um, and the other reason as well is because part of the story is is that they're going to um, use the castle for a purpose I want to tell you guys but I don't know whether I should because it's, it's just given away info in the book and I don't want to spoil it for you so but there's a reason like you know it has to be mapped out the way it is and hopefully it'll it'll make it an entertaining read or for big clue is that it'll be book two um not as much a book one but it gives me a good excuse to put another book in the series <clears throat> so anyway i'm i'm kind of waffling now so let's have a look so, um, how we're going to search this? Well, I know it's an Irish castle and I don't know if it has a specific type of architecture. So let's start off with um, Irish, no, castles in Ireland. Right, so if any of you guys haven't already done this, um, there's a couple of things that I'm going to do first of all. <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is, um, before I even look, I'm going to hit Pinterest. If you guys don't use Pinterest, I would definitely recommend it because it's a really good way of being able to um, save photos that are potential, um, like ideas you know that you've got for the book um so this is i don't think this is my pinterest but i'm going to go on the i've got a couple of different boards here so this one is book draft pictures and i've already got some kind of photos of <clears throat> castles that you guys can see like i kind of like this one but the reason that I don't know whether I could go for something like that is because there's another reason <laughs> that I can't really tell you guys that um but if I if I made it like if I wrote about it and this was the kind of castle that readers might find it a bit unbelievable and think oh you know that doesn't make sense or I'm not making sense with what I'm saying but like I've got to be realistic so it could be something like this but maybe not as grand you know maybe something a little bit more run down perhaps um would help if I move myself out of the way there we go 
so maybe something a little more run down but the size is ideal the size is absolutely brilliant so what I'm going to do is actually I was going to set up a new board but I'm not I'm just going to keep the board that I've got which is the book research for the book draft um so we'll go back to castles and islands so what i'd like to do is i like to use google and i like to go to images now i'm not going to use these images because i'm really funny about using images on the web because of like copywriting and things like that but what I, all i want to do is i just want to get a basic kind of idea of what the castle's going to look like um so these are like some pictures of castles I could look on a website I could look on an actual website but really what I want to do is I want to see the pictures so um let's have a quick look here so I'm looking for something straight away that's not massive um so if I like this here is a no go it's too big I couldn't map that out for the book it would take me an entire book to be able to write about walking around the grounds and things like that. So that is a definite no-no. How do I come out with that? Oh, there. Okay, uh, let's have a look here. So there's this one, which is, again, it's on the smaller side. It's a ruin. That doesn't matter, though, it's a ruin, because basically I just want to know about the... Um, the architecture and the shape of it but it's still a little bit too big um that would be hard for me to plan to map out uh this let's just have a quick a bigger look at it if i can find it there so this is saunderson castle in county cavan um, you know, really nice, but um, it's maybe still a bit too big that I don't really want to do something like that. It's just, it's too big to be able to uh, write it into the book. Unless I only took part of it, but then that's even still kind of confusing. So let's go back to the search. Let's come out of there let's go down and have a look and see what else we can find if i can find anything if i can't i'd have to look at um maybe castles in scotland and see if scotland's got something because i'm thinking that scottish and irish castles aren't going to be that far apart as in architecture i know they are two different countries but still um, so I'm still looking through because I haven't got anything kind of on the small side yet. I did see something a bit further up. There was another ruin. I think the castle stood on top of a hill or something. Yeah, maybe. No. <laughs> Just ignore that. <laughs> okay, this one. This is the one that I was looking at. So this one I like because I wish I could make the picture bigger. I can't even see with the Pinterest. Oh no. Um, but I do like it because it's <clears throat> very symmetrical. So we can see it's got two towers, you know, turrets, the roof, etc. So this might be a maybe and uh, let's have a look here is there anything about this castle no but i like this one because it's symmetrical and it would be easy to plan the great hall where the bedrooms are which will probably be the towers and with on suite rooms <clears throat> the kitchen might be towards the back close to the dining area so that might work um where i could get the bedrooms one two three four maybe i could make it six or seven rooms with um with bathrooms and then like the the lower levels could be a study and a library or a drawing room 
I'm not sure. Um, but it's not too big. So is like the... Um, to be able to plan it out. Let's have a look. So there's that one. Now, I've seen these other ones which are like these. And I'm steering away from this. These are like towers. Um, and some people have bought them and, you know, they've refurbished them. But I'm not because <clears throat> it's too narrow for my liking. Um, and the only way I could see that working is, you know, with these towers is you'd have to have everything on levels. And I don't really want that. I don't really want that. I'd rather have something like what we've just looked at, which would be um, more appealing, able to move around. Like I want something with a grand staircase as well. We could look at that as well, couldn't we? Grand staircases. Let's have a look. Smallish castles. Right, okay. Well, why don't I not put in small castles? Small castles in Ireland. That might be better. See, but the only thing is, this is bringing up these towers straight away. Can you have a small castle? I don't know. Um, what's this one? See, that's not really a castle, is it? It's more like a stately home. I wouldn't say that was a castle. No. Um, it's 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 workable, but it wouldn't it wouldn't fit with the uh, with the plan. See, I've kind of got it in my head what I want. But finding it is something else. Oh my god. Let's see if I can find something else. <laughs> Six Irish castles you can actually buy. Yeah, that's a lovely castle, that one. Mm hmm. I want really something where it's got the castle and a tower at the side, like a round tower, and then turrets at the top. I'm not finding anything under there, so I'm going to try Scottish castles. I'm just going to try um, small. And I want it to be like gothic. Small gothic castles. Let's have a look and see if anything comes up with those. Because the only other thing is I don't want it like a chateau or something from Germany or something like that. I want it to be Irish, maybe Scottish. You know what, actually, because it's too broad. Let's try Scottish castles. For sale. Let's have a look and see what castle you can buy in Scotland for sale. Now you see I like that. I think I could get away with this one. Dalmoic Castle. So I could get away with something like that. I'm going to save that to Pinterest actually. Right. So I could get away with this one because it's got a tower. Although the tower's in the centre. So I can kind of see... How this would work so you would walk in has it got more pictures of it actually nice fireplace ah now you see this would work <clears throat> i think if i didn't make it if it wasn't as splendid as this it might work anyway um but i love this grand staircase um Maybe not this carpet, though it would have to... I'm, I'm seeing like a tartan carpet for some reason. Um, but this this grand staircase, uh, let's see what else. Rooms going off to the sides. So this could be um, the living room. Bedrooms above, going down the sides. Kitchen towards the back. Dining room at the other side. You've got enough room in there for a drawing room. I love this. This is fabulous. 
oh look at the size of these rooms see i can take all this into account i want to save that as well because what do you call this that's that ceiling what do you call this a word for it not ceiling oh, what do they call it man moldings that's it oh look at their moldings aren't they beautiful there's a reason as well it has to have a tower um which will become clear at some point but yeah i think so far this is this is i think this is the winner you know guys this wasn't what i expected at all um I was kind of looking at something more like the castle was here and then I had a tower here which was around a tower but this actually would would work because it's not too big it's got a tower and I can plan it out so these here are your, your rooms so there's your dining room there's your, your living room or the drawing room or whatever they call it um, this is the entrance. You've got the stairs here, which go up to here, to the upper lobby. And then there would be rooms here. Three, six. I want to say six. So we'll make it a six bedroom. And then at the back of the stairs, behind the stairs, down the corridor, you've got a huge kitchen. Um... It just goes to show that must be the back of the castle, though. That must be the back of the castle. So it's not that deep, looking at it. So you'd have the kitchen, like, further down the hallway. Yeah. The kitchen at the back. And then the dining room at the side. I think I've got it. I think this is going to be the one. So all I've really got to do now is kind of map out in my my mind like what's going where so i can work myself around it so i think that's what i'm going to do i think that's the castle i'm going to use or oh, the architecture of the castle is what i'm going to do for it anyway <clears throat> so they will have it so i think i've managed to sort out the castle for the research which means that i can do the map and uh, get on with the next chapter so there you go guys um I have like an hour and 10 minutes. I can't go to bed yet. It's almost 11 and I'm tired um, because there's a course that I've got to wait until midnight to enroll on uh, because it's a highly sought after course by a guy called Mark Dawson. Um, so I'm waiting till midnight so that I can get booked on it and then uh, start doing that. But I'm going to talk about that in another video. Um, but until next time, that's everything from me, guys. So thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until next time, bye for now. Bye-bye.